It's a shame that most kids today don't know the greatness that was Chris Farley. You have been deprived. It is so sad. What's going on everybody? It's the granddad of granddad Wooly and you are here again for another edition of Wooly Reviews. Film Data Documentary Edition. We got our first documentary review today and we're going to be talking about the brand new documentary centering around one of the most impactful, funniest, and wildest comedians of the mid to late 90s. He ran with the likes of Sandler and Spade and Rock and all the mother motherfuckers too. And he is finally back with some new shit. Well, he's not back back, but he's, you know, back in the spotlight or the limelight. And I had to hire out the shit because I'm a big fan. Talking about the new documentary, I Am Chris Farley. Now, for those who don't know who Chris Farley is, like I said, he was a comedian, really big and popular in the mid to later on 90s. He was in movies like Tommy Boy, Black Sheep. He made cameos in Billy Madison, Coneheads, a lot of popular movies back in the time. And he was known for his wild, loud, out there, physical, slapstick type comedy. But he had many layers and levels, and he can actually do really well in you know just any type of comedy or form of acting as well. He tragically died in 1997 due to a drug overdose. And it was one of those things that just seems like he was gone too soon. He was only 33 years old. He was at the height of his career. You know, and he just had a, a huge battle with alcoholism and, and things like, you know, drugs and stuff like that. And it just caught up with him. But the small amount of time that he was in the limelight, he was literally just killing it. And just was one of the biggest names in, in comedy and in Hollywood at the time. So this documentary centers around his life from where he grew up. So you know how he ended up getting into comedy and show business to the point where he just fucking exploded and everybody knew who Chris Farley was. And it was just the, the trials and tribulations he went through, you know, the ups and downs and just who he was as a person. Because a lot of people would think that Chris Farley was just this big, goofy, out there, loud, you know, just, just over the top, funny type of guy. And he was, but he also had other layers to him that a lot of people didn't know. And that's what this documentary really, really, you know, pushes on and gets the audience and the viewer to, to actually see. We get a lot of, you know, feedback and a lot of, you know, stories from his closest friends and associates that he worked on with Saturday Night Live to his movies as well as his family. And we just get to see, you know, how Chris Farley became who he was and how he dealt with the fame and the high levels of success that he got at such a such a rapid pace, which, you know, he's a small kid from like Wisconsin, I believe, and he just overnight, you know, with a couple years of work, just blew up into this mega star. And we just see what he went through and how he dealt with it. It's a really dope and introspective movie. And if you are a fan of Chris Farley, you are going to love this documentary because not only do they showcase some of his greatest, greatest moments as far as on SNL and his movies, but we also just get to see, you know, how he was feeling and what he was thinking at the time and just, you know, how these things shaped him and how he dealt with things. It also goes in detail to the events leading up to his tragic death and what happened after his death as far as with his family and his friends and his close associates. And it's just something that you really get to see the full circle and the full spectrum of who Chris Farley was and why his life ended up the way that it ended and how he tragically ended his life or died from his drug overdose and his problems because it was something he was dealing with for some time. But in the flip side, there's a lot of comedy in here. There's a lot of stories of humor. It also tells about, you know, things that we've never seen that happens with Chris Farley, you know, personal stories from his close friends like Mike Myers and Adam Sandler. And they just go into detail about the type of person he was in real life and how close it was to how he was on screen. Pretty much how Chris Farley was on screen is pretty much how he was in real life. And like he's got his friends and you know his associates telling stories about how exactly he's been like that. It's a really dope documentary. It does start off a little bit slow, but it does pick up once the point when he gets in the show business. We also see how certain characters that he's been famous and known for, like Matt Foley, was created. And it wasn't really created on SNL. It was actually created before then, just brought over. And it's just a lot of stories that you really didn't know that you find out. And it makes it more appreciative of who Chris Farley was as a comedian and as an actor. So it's a dope documentary. If you are a fan of Chris Farley, you will love this documentary. Like I said, there's cameos from people like Sandler and, you know, David Spade's in here, who was pretty much his, like, you know, comedy partner in a lot of movies and a lot of things. Also, there's people like Kevin Nealon in here, uh, Dan Aykroyd, pretty much the people who was around him 24-7 on a professional as well as just a personal level who can really recount these stories to a T and just give you the real, real representation of who Chris Farley was. And this is a great documentary. I really like it. And I think if you are a fan, like I said before, you will enjoy this one because it really just gives you everything you need to know about Chris Farley. And it makes you appreciate his talent and his skills more. And even though it's been so many fucking years since he's died, 
he still has a legacy and people, you know, especially my age demographic, know who Chris Farley is and just respect what he did for comedy, for acting, you know, and everything like that. And he's just one of those guys who you can't recreate. There's never been another Chris Farley and there never will because he's just, he had it. He was that guy. And he, if he was still alive, he'd still be killing it right now. I'm pretty sure he would. But it's a dope documentary, so you definitely got to check it out. So my final verdict, I'm not saying that I Am Chris Farley is a super dope, well done, well put together documentary showcasing the life and the ups and downs of comedian actor Chris Farley to a T. All I'm saying is that we get the full story of who Chris Farley is, why he ended up the way he ended up, and not only that, but just his greatest moments are being showcased from his greatest and closest friends, and you just see you know, more of who Chris Farley was rather than what it was on the screen. It's a dope documentary, well put together. I will watch it again and again. It was probably one of the better documentaries I've seen this year. And to the guys who put it together, I believe their name was Derek Murray and Brent Hodges. They did a really good job showcasing who Chris Farley was as a person and not just showcasing a whole bunch of funny clips and moments, but really digging deep into who he was as a person and just showcasing that side that most people didn't get to see. It's a dope documentary. I liked it. I didn't see anything wrong with it, minus a slow start, but other than that, it was really, really well put together. So for me, I gotta say that I Am Chris Farley is 100% granddad approved. Go check it out. It's out right now. You can, I think, buy it or rent it for like, a, like $4.99 on like IamChrisFarley.com. It's also on iTunes, so you can find it. Just Google I Am Chris Farley. You'll find it. Support it. It's a great piece of work. And it's something that I think I'm going to go check out again, definitely, because I just like how it was put together. And it's, it's, it shows, it's got humor, it's got, you know, sad moments, it's got just, you know, moments where you just appreciate who he is, and it's just well put together from top to bottom. So definitely go check it out. I am Chris Farley. It's granddad approved. Flip it. All right, guys, it's going to do it for today's video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and drop a comment. Tell me what you think of I'm Chris Farley. If you've seen it, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. The shit is fucking dope. It's out right now. It don't cost you a lot of money, so drop that little, drop a couple bucks and watch this, especially if you're a Chris Farley fan. You are going to love this documentary. It's got the great cameos. It's got clips from those greatest moments, and it's just something that I think you will appreciate and enjoy, even if you haven't heard of Chris Farley. It's just a good documentary to watch. Previous video was on the side as well as my music video. Check those out. Show them some love. And as always, Twitter, Facebook, SoundCloud, Instagram. Links in the description below. And subscribe. Button on the screen. Button below. Wooly Reviews. Twice a week. Gaming channel. Check that out. And I got nothing more to say. So until next time I take my leave, granddaughter, I am Chris Farley. There will never be another dude like this ever. Don't even, don't even try to say it will be because you lying, nigga. You know it ain't. I'm out of here.